And it starts out with milk, some warm milk. You want about a half a cup of warm milk and a tablespoon of yeast. And all you want to do is dissolve that in the milk. Make sure the milk is warm. About 110 degrees is about right. And once you have this dissolved, you just let this sit aside because in Arthur's recipe, this is not put in at the beginning. It's put in at the end. And that's what makes Arthur so special because he can be very, very different. And that's wonderful. So now we want to put some butter in a food, not in a food processor, but in a KitchenAid mixer or a big, huge mixer like this. And you want to start out with unsalted butter. And when you can just put your finger into a stick of butter and leave a small impression, you know that that butter is at the right temperature for creaming. So one stick of unsalted butter goes in and we want to start creaming that with about two tablespoons of sugar and about a half a teaspoon of salt. So that goes in. But now we have four egg yolks and we want to put those egg yolks in one at a time to get them really well mixed into the butter. And that makes a nice creamy yellowish mixture. And now, with the egg yolks, we need to have flour. And in this case, folks, we're not using unbleached all-purpose flour like I normally do when I'm making bread. This is cake flour, because this is a cake or a bread that has a very light, airy texture. You don't want a flour that has too high of a protein content, because that'll make too much gluten. You want cake flour. So I'm going to add a little bit of the flour now, turning down the, the speed a little bit. You want to add flour and beaten egg whites. And I have my egg whites already beaten up, because so I wanted to make sure that I could get this done before Arthur got here. And so in between, you add a little bit of the egg whites. So I'm going to turn that down a little bit, add some of the egg whites to help loosen up this batter. So let me add a little bit more. And when you do egg whites, make sure that you don't overbeat them or they're going to be just too dry. And now a little bit more flour goes in. Did I tell you we have three and a half cups of cake flour in this? So now the rest of the egg white mixture goes in. And this makes a pretty loose dough. It's not a really stiff dough, and it's not a dough that you're going to be able to knead at all. So once you get it in, you may have to stop and wipe down the sides of the bowl because you want to make sure that that's all very well incorporated. And I guess you can see just how sticky that is. So I'm going to let that go now for a minute. And that looks pretty good. So let's take this out. And the fun part is always getting it off the paddle. And you see how sticky it is, and I'm just going to use my hands because I'm used to using my hands when I'm working with doughs. And as I say, this has a very light and airy texture, and it's going to be delicious once we put the other part of this together. So I'd say this has to rise for a good, I think Arthur's recipe said, couple hours. You want this to double in size. Now we want to cover this. Cover this with a piece of plastic wrap and put this off to the side and we forget about this until it's double. Now look here. It smells very yeasty and it's so light looking. Look at that. And now all I have to do is scoop that into those mini molds. And I'm using these today. They look like cupcake molds, but you know what? This is actually like a rubber material. It's great. You never have to grease it. And I've made these before and they come out beautiful. So all you have to do is take some of the batter and plop it right into the center of each one of these. This is going to make about, oh, 18 or so of these mini versions. And you want these to rise until they're about 3 quarters of the way up the top of the cupcake form. Now, as I say, you could also do this in a tube pan, and that's the way that Arthur did it in his original recipe. But this is kind of nice, you know, because then the cake doesn't dry out as fast, and you can not feel guilty about eating a small one as opposed to eating a large piece. So once you get it in, 
Then you want these to rise covered. So you set these aside, and when they're almost to the top, and they look a little fluffy, and that's when you're going to put them in the oven. And look, I made the mini version. Mini little baba o rum. Yeah, but I waited for you to come so we could do the sauce together. Okay. So I know you have this little, you know, the little. All right, trick. you got to make holes in these. Yeah, and meanwhile, um, I've got two cups of sugar. You got to make holes so that the syrup will penetrate, and I like to make them all over on the sides, as well as on the top. You don't want to ruin the top look to me, so okay. try to get it in the creases. Everywhere. So two yeah. cups of sugar, two cups of water, right? Right. You're making a syrup. simple syrup. Okay. That goes in. Every bartender knows that. Every bartender knows this. Well, I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to just cook this until we don't see sugar anymore. Okay. And it's very yeah. clear. The whole, yeah. You bring it, you know, it could be over bring high heat. Bring it to a heat. boil. You bring okay. it to a boil until it's clear. Yeah. Um, it really doesn't have to cook down or boil together for very long. Should I put some in? Yeah, yeah. please. Put some lemon yeah. in? Yeah. Now, if you have kids around, you don't want to do rum. Right? Uh, well, that's traditional, you know, to do the rum, but we're not going to do rum. Look what I got. I think this is great. It's not as big as, uh, as your rum bottle here, but, you know, look. See? Look. You could use cinnamon oil. Oh, that's a nice and, flavor. And really, this is very intense. So, you, should we do the rum or do you want to do the cinnamon? Let's it's do up it to your you. way. Let's it's up do to it you. your we're way. We're adults. We're adults. Okay, we're going to put in. I'm going to put the rum in now, and even if I cook this well, a little you know, bit, if, I'll cook it right you know, off. If, you know, exactly. If you wanted to have the rum flavor, yeah, but without so much alcohol, yeah, you could put it in um, the hot syrup and let it simmer a minute or two, mm -hmm. and that would draw off most of the alcohol. How's this looking? That looks great. Okay. You want to pour it over? I'm going to pour dessert? it over, and now all we have to do to this is, you know, continue to. Yeah, they need these. to be basted. You've got to turn these around. You can't be afraid to get your hands in these, and you turn them you know, around. Hmm. You can also serve some of the syrup on the side when you serve yes. the, the cake yes. if somebody wants an even moister cake. Okay, well, you no, know... No, I mean yours, if you want to keep them fresh. You right. just keep them right. in a jar, in the syrup, in the refrigerator. 